Hello guys, welcome to vincistech.com and my name is Murli and we will see today what is a web service, what is SOAP, what is XML, right? So nowadays you might have seen so many websites with providing like different different price comparisons for your requirement. Say you want a hotel, you are looking for some hotel in London, say type hotels in London right you can see like many websites which gives you different different pricing from different providers say if you go hotels.com say you can search here business is London United Kingdom say check in say 26th and check out 27th and search right say here you can see from different hotels with different pricing and with their offers as well right so this is like a price comparison from different different hotels right the same like if you are requesting means if you are looking for some flight tickets travel destinations you will get different different pricing from again different air ticket providers right say for example this is a website like hotels.com booking.com whatever the user is giving some details like name check-in and check-out right so this website is registered with many providers right so this is one hotel like this is holiday in this is hotel Marriott this is Hilton and this is quality in this is premier like that so we have different different providers providing this service right so basically the communication between from this web applications to this web application is nothing but a web service means you are requesting you are requesting a service from this provider for this name this check-in this checkout this location so this provider will get back with their price availability and offers same like at the same time from this website it will send a couple of requests all the for the all their registered providers and all these providers will get back with their response to this website right so this communication is nothing but a web service okay so the communication between diff couple of web applications right so this communication is nothing but a web service means we are requesting some service we are requesting some price from different different suppliers so these guys are getting back with the response with their pricing and availability and offers etc right so now this communication you want to test how the communication is going and how fast it's going and how reliable it's going how secure the communication is going so to test that we need some software or we need a tool okay so that tool you have many in the market but I'm going to mention here about soap UI right so soap UI is a tool which test the web services okay so it will be used as a functional testing tool as well we'll see later so at the moment we are talking about web service so basically the web service is nothing but is a service between different different applications 
from different providers to particular place right so same if you are requesting here say this is a flight website right so you are entering your check-in and check-out and from this website it will go the request to different different suppliers and all will get back with their different pricing right so user will choose the pricing and get the order etc so this is now quite a popular like web services using many many companies for supplying their data right so now how the data is traveling between from one application to another application like request and response right so that data is nothing but XML format okay so the data travels between all these applications the format is called by XML format right so what is an XML XML is nothing but is a extendable markup language or extended markup language right so that means like HTML what is HTML HTML means hypertext markup language so like XML extendable markup language what is the difference right so in HTML the tags are defined the tags are defined that means say you have tags called say P this is for paragraph this is for heading this is for tables this is for horizontal rulers this is for font so like this we have so many tags but all these tags are defined okay but by using XML you can define your own tags right say for example for this application if you want to make an XML file how they communicate each other right so let us see right say this is how it's going to communicate so for example I want to do some hotel booking so I will write the tag called booking means you can define your own tag okay so every tag must be closed like this right so this is a booking tag in that booking tag I am supplying just three values say like uh, location okay that means where you want to book a hotel or where you are looking for a hotel right so I am passing here at moment only check-in date and close the tag and I am passing the date uh, like checkout like this you can define your own tags in XML check out right so location I am looking in London so check in give some date say 12 and check out again 14 like 08 so like this this is an XML file so file save as and save as dot xml with some file name and save as all files save right so that's it this is making of an xml file right you can see here it's xml file you can open with notepad or any editor as well and that moment i will open with notepad so this is like xml file right so this communication now is in xml format right that's fine so now how the data will go from one application to another application that's why it's in XML format and you need some media to go like right? so for that in web maybe you know already you have some protocols right so you have protocols called HTML sorry HTTP and FTP like that you have couple of protocols right so what is HTTP HTTP is a protocol which will communicate or travel from one web page to another web page right so that's the reason at the top we will write 
http colon the website name okay so all these pages will communicate through this http protocol you can see at the top right say ftp so what is an ftp ftp is a file transfer protocol say the same if you type like ftp colon insistech.com right so this protocol like ftp protocol is called file transfer protocol so this is used to upload or download some files from the servers right so like th these are all different different protocols like the soap soap is nothing but it's also a protocol okay soap is also a protocol which used xml format and soap is a protocol to pass this data from one application to another application right so we'll see in de detail later so at moment just think that so soap ui is a tool soap ui is a tool is a tool so to test web services right hope you understand now what is a web service and what is soap ui and what is xml and what is a web service right so thank you for watching the video